Hey guys, so I've had a lot of people ask me lately, since I started putting up some generals content. How do I actually get it to run on Windows 10? Well, I'm going to show you guys. Because um, I've actually even got it running in online. It's not fully functional. You'll have to bear with us. Um, I'll go over why and sort of what the trade-offs between the two methods are. Um, but yeah, you can get online and even play games, queue up. There's something like 70,000 accounts on this new format. But anyway, we'll get into that. Alright guys, so the easiest way is go to cnc.community slash general slash how dash to dash play. And here you've got a full guide on how to actually get the game up and running. Obviously, you've got to own a copy. I'm not going to endorse piracy for this one. There's no freeware agreement on this one yet, so we won't go down that path. But if you happen to possess one, you know, so be it. I'm sure this can be applicable to you depending on which version. Um, but yeah, basically, if you've got either the old copy of the game or if you've got the new version um, from the collector's edition thing, uh, I can't remember what it's actually called, where you get basically a copy of every single one of the old Command & Conquer games. Um, they all come pre-patched to the final versions of the official patches, whereas the old copies obviously don't. Um, but this little guide will run through everything you need. It covers um, Gen Patcher, which is the most handy tool in the arsenal, because Gen Patcher basically contains everything else you need. Gen Patcher will install what's called Gen Tool, um, which contains CNC online. So Gen Tool is like a platform that basically runs during the game of all the modified settings. And CNC Online is integrated into it. It's basically the matchmaking and ranked and, you know, custom games server network that we all play on. So the, t the pair of those are actually included in GenPatcher because GenPatcher has like an install script for Gentle, which contains CNC Online in the latest few versions. And on top of that, GenPatcher has a bunch of handy other fixes. So I've got GenPatcher here. We're going to open this up. Assign it administrator privileges so it actually can do what it needs to do. And I've actually applied everything. Um, but basically, the, this will detect your game, provided that it's installed, it's not corrupt. Um, this should be able to find the file path, even if it's not on your main hard drive. It should be able to figure out that it is installed on a peripheral hard drive, provided that it's actually installed fully on your Windows and you haven't somehow got a portable version, if that's even possible. But basically, this will run a bunch of fixes that you need, like all the .NET, .NET frameworks that you might need, um, and other things like that, Windows-related, that Windows 10 doesn't have natively inbuilt into it that, you know, XP and that era did. Then you've got a Gen Tool installation, and like I said, it includes CNC Online. Uh, you've got the improved control bar, and the map pack for all the uh, unofficial maps that have had, I guess, a bit of a competitive following. So it's a bunch of random other maps. Then there is a, a tool for Improved World Builder. So just go through and install all of those. And um, once you get that up and running, you will actually notice... Get that out of the way. You should have both a normal and a windowed copy of your game. And I'm going to go through why that's important, because... It's going to determine basically how you're going to play. The only difference between these two is obviously that one's windowed and one's not. They're the same shortcut, and there's no different, no modification to this one. Whereas with the windowed version, it's just got dash win. We'll fire this up, and this will be important because I can give you a bit of a rundown of gentle. So you get this little pop-up center screen. Just press insert. This will not actually be positioned like this. It'll be something like this on corner or something else that just looks ugly as fuck or center. So go either top or full and it will lock it so you don't actually see the, uh, windows bar at the, windows bar at the top. Um, just press escape or insert and close it again. So it's insert to bring that up, insert or escape to close. Handy thing is you can actually also set FPS limit. Um, 
Obviously, modern monitors are capable of a lot more than what they were back then. And, yeah, skip through. Where CNC Online comes into play, when you get a multiplayer okay, online, rather than sitting here not being able to find anything once it does the update check because the game spy servers are shut down, you can actually just go through, create, register an account to begin with, obviously, put your date of birth in, email, name, password, log in. So it's all basically the same as normal, right? Except. Oh. There's actually activity here. Oh, there's a leaderboard. Oh, wow, there's about 74,000 plays. You can go custom match. Quick match, I don't think actually is functional. But instead, all the ranking um, is determined in uh, your custom games. Because if you go, say, create game. And just bearing in mind, 1v1 and 2v2 are the main active lobbies. I'm not sure if the region ones are really all that active. They might be at certain times of the day. But, you know, you can go here. Record stats, not sure. Yeah, you can turn that off and go limit armies, play like a more conventional RTS, like, you know, Age Vampires or StarCraft. So that's that, basically. Um, I'm just gonna hold tab. Oh, didn't do it. Okay. Well, that's ruined that little demonstration. I was gonna have it crash on me. Oh, that's right. Windowed mode fixes the alt tab crash that's right so the thing is with windowed mode if you're playing in it you're going to be able to alt tab this is great you know if you want to be able to stream and whatnot the downside is we'll go in we'll fire up a game load super quick it's amazing i can't i can't do anything i can't pan my map why can't i pan my map but i can click on my map i can hold right click and fast scroll my map I can't do my standard pan on my map. Look, look, I'm going straight to the edge of the screen, nothing's happening. But, I do have hotkeys. So, that's a little tour of windowed mode. So we'll go close this, go back into the full screen mode. Now, again, Gen tool. It's going to pop up, so we're going to have full settings and stuff, but obviously this is set um, as full screen, so I don't get the option to adjust the windowed options. And we're just going to go try alt tabbing a couple of times and see what happens. <gasps> Technical difficulties! Amazing! I mean, I'd be pretty pissed off if I didn't expect it. But yeah, I mean, that's all part of the demonstration. So, you go back in. And I'm going to show you something else, because we'll, this will be the full run-through of the trade-off between windowed and windowless. Okay, we'll just hide that. So we we'll go solo, skirmish, fire up a game, and you don't old tab. Any more than once, I mean, you might get away with alt tabbing once, but any more than that will crash your fucking game. Oh no. Hotkeys are actually working today. Strange, they weren't working for me yesterday. I was having problems with my hotkeys working. Might be intermittent. So I guess I'm wrong on that front. But, you probably did see. Go back here. You actually can pan around the map. New construction. Oh, okay. So, it seems as though hotkeys are functional in this. I'll stop back. Maybe it was, uh, borderless. So on the boardless windowed mode. Yeah, Just bring that up and hide it. Go away! God damn it. Okay. Maybe gentle just goes away. Yeah, it does just go away. And yeah, it leaves a timer and a frame rate. Really nice. Even a little game clock. 
cool features the original game didn't have. Really cool. So I can't pan. Hotkeys are functional in both modes, contrary to my belief going into this. But as a bit of a wrap up, basically if you go windowed, you can't pan around the map natively. You have to right click and go fast scroll, or basically click on the map. But in full screen, if you alt tab, the game's gonna crash. So that's just a little trade off. And I wanna bring up gentle, just tap insert close it, just tap escape, gives you all the handy settings, pick through, and yeah, online is functional, uh, the matchmaking system is not, but all the custom game options are, so yeah guys, bit of a run through of generals, and zero hour on Windows 10, because everything in this video is applicable to the base game as well. Um, although the community for the PvP I think is a bit smaller and the online stuff. But yeah guys, thanks for watching.